Super test 0.10.4 new ships. We are introducing a well, sure, mistress. Remind me later. New ships. So the new Dutch cruisers, Van Kinsberg, Gelderland, ja Java, Jaffa, the Ruiter, Celebes, Kikduin, Indracht, Harlem, Johan de Witt, Gudenlu. Well, how do you pronounce that? Gudenlu? Golden Law. <laughs> like, if you ever feel underappreciated, chat, if you ever feel like people don't value your contribution enough, keep in mind that there are people at Wargaming who, who are forced to model the tier 1s to tier 4. Ships that no one actually plays. So if you ever feel underappreciated, remember this. These ships exist. I mean, Art Department done a great job as always. Fantastic detail. They look very, very interesting. But really feels bad, man. Feels bad, man, to have to do this. Because you know Wargaming, Wargaming isn't going to have you play this. They're going to do like crates, like gacha crates. Haha, -ha, buy this crate to unlock the tier 7 mission and you can skip all the low tiers. You know they're going to do that again, so. Hmm, interesting. The Ruiter. Look at this. You can tell these were real ships because they got like actual freeboard. You can tell that these ships actually existed. Celebes Kik Duin. Man, that's that superstructure has got all sorts of lines going on for it. I think the stats are below, right? In Dracht. Triple turret, two guns, and I was a three in the back. Jesus, that's a lot of freeboard done. Johan de Witt. And this is where the caliber just becomes absurd. And these are this is the one with the 283s. Look at that freeboard though. Holy shit. If this is all citadel, it's gonna be gigantic if this belt armor here is all citadel. Tier 8 is missing. Yeah, they messed up that one. Okay. Ships will be tested in a nation of Europe until update 10.5. Thank you, Fungus, for the 22. After update 10.5, they will be moved to a separate nation, the Netherlands. These cruisers were developed for the Netherlands East Indies fleet, though work on most was interrupted by the German invasion in 1940. The ships were designed to counter Japanese heavy cruisers. Dutch cruisers perform best at close and medium range, supporting allies in the fight for key areas. They have good survivability for a cruiser due to strong armor, especially at high levels, and also good concealment and maneuverability. The cruisers are equipped with a new type of armament, air strike. At high tiers, ships of big caliber and their characteristics such as fire duration, hit points and armor are similar to those of large cruisers. Okay. Key features of the Dutch cru- they added this, is the Dutch cruisers are equipped with a new type of armament. The concept of ships can change significantly during testing. They, they literally added this list, they literally added this disclaimer because ever since people have made so much fun of the German destroyer line that were supposed to counter light cruisers. People have made so much fun of them and they got so triggered that they literally added this line because they were so t tired of people laughing at their concept. <laughs> oh, that's pretty funny. That's pretty funny. Disclaimer, nothing we say here is final. Everything can probably change. Key features, good maneuverability and concealment, but low firing range and rate of fire. Hydro, spotter, we don't put, this one doesn't exist. That's just a meme. Available for tier four. New airstrike armament. Keep in mind, this it's an armament, so that means it's not a consumable, there, you have never ending of them. Repair party consumable with increased reload speed and defensive AA fire. Increased reload speed, so it's fast reloading heal. Strong armor, tier 8 to 10 ships armed with the following 203, 240, 283. 240 armor matches light cruisers, aka Royal Navy and Smolensk and such. 283s, what's significant about 283 armor match? Is it anything different? No, it just it matches DDs, I guess. That's important, but the Dermatch matches 19mm, but there's not much that really matters there, so. It matches DDs, that's significant, I guess. Okay. Please note that with update 0 0.10.6 tier, 9 destroy Friesland will be moved from the Europe nation to the Netherlands se section. To the nation. That's actually, in a way, that's nice. In one way, this is nice because then you can use that that for to train the new captains for the new ships. But on the other hand, that means you can no longer use him for the EU DDs. And uh, considering it was a DD, it kind of synergizes better with them. 
Uh, we'll see. Airstrike. Airstrike is a new type of armament that first appears on Dutch cruisers. Due to the fact that this is a new mechanic, both the concept of ship and concept of armament can change significantly during testing. At the moment, aircraft called by the airstrike armament are equipped with HE bombs, will operate at a distance of 8 to 10 kilometers and drop bombs on an area comparable to the size of two battleships. Bombs will take a long time to reach their target, so it's best to use them against large or low mobility targets. At the same time, the aircraft don't detect the opponents. Wow, I didn't know you could do that. And unlike aircraft carrier squadrons, they are not directly controlled by the player. This type of armament is based on the actual actually used method of low altitude bombing with parachute equipped bombs. The bomb bombing is carried out in two stages. The bombs descend to a certain distance on a parachute, which detaches after a while. The bombs fall the rest of the way without a parachute. And we'll look at this picture in detail. So that's the squadron going past. And that's the two, is that the two different sets of bombs falling? You can see the consumable here. You can see the cooldown on it. That's the airstrike consumable. On this, it's a 40 second cooldown, but probably remain subject to change. There's three charges. Oh yeah, you're right. You're right. There, there is actually three charges. Yeah, there's three segments, and I guess, do they charge up, and then you can drop multiple ones? Interesting. It's still never-ending, so they recharge, but it's kind of like the um, uh, the death charges on the sub-test. Looks like that's the concept. It's going to be a weird gimmick. I mean, uh, what, what bothers me is that they're adding this from Tier 4 onwards. Like, <laughs> Tier 4 didn't exactly need extra planes and extra aircraft added to it, like, <laughs> that's the last thing tier 4 needed. AA can shoot down squadrons, these squadrons are full HP, but it might be a disabled bot, I have no idea. Huh, I mean, this is gonna be so annoying because if these are HE bombs, they, they're equipped with HE bombs, you gotta remember that HE splash resets caps, so you can just delay caps a shit ton by dropping this these bombs on a cap when a DD is trying to cap. If it smokes up, you just drop the bombs on it, and even if the bombs don't hit, the splash damage is gonna keep resetting them. So I'm not. Uh, these things are good. They're gonna have a lot of use, I think. You can't spot with them, but it's not four charges. It's the number four on your keyboard. Wow! No way, Ravensburger. <laughs> no way. Well spotted. <laughs> Oh my god, maybe we should put chat on so people get to enjoy chat, enjoy the insight of chant every now and then. There you go. American Cruiser Congress, tier 8. This is the one that seems so, so power creep. American Cruiser died, dated 1914. This project is the predecessor of an Alaska class cruisers of an Alaska class cruisers. Okay, of an Alaska class cruiser. Ship is named after one of the US Navy six, so one of six US Navy three master heavy frigates built in 1979 to 1800s. Due to the high weight of the salvo, good accuracy and good firing range, she's able to effectively inflict damage on enemy ships from a long distance. This ship is equipped with the following consumables, repair party, hydroacoustic search, or defensive AA fire in the second slot and surveillance radar we don't pretend the other don't even exist, if radar exists. Therefore, due to her good air defense, high survivability, and a wide selection of equipment, is able to effectively support allies in the fight for key areas. This thing looks so horrendously broken. It's basically an Alaska, it has 60,000 health at tier 8. It has a heel, it has 27 millimeter plating, 12, 12k in concealment with full build. I mean, and Alaska guns which overmatch light cruisers and general just dumpster things. Like, they, they don't even make, what, what's the weakness? That it burns longer? 60k health on a cruiser is broken, especially at tier 8. The, the, the stats on that thing are completely hilarious. Dutch cruiser, the Zeven Provincien. No idea how to pronounce that. A light cruiser laid down before the outbreak of World War II and completed in the 1950s according to a modified project. In the second half of the exit century, she was purchased by Peru, decommissioned only in September 2017. She was the last artillery cruiser in the world to remain in service. Equipped with eight universal 152mm guns in four turrets, specialized repair teams, this means super heal, like no strap um, repair, engine boost and airstrike armament. The ship's guns have a medium firing range and high fire rate. The cruiser is able to quickly change flank or take an advantageous position due to the engine boost consumable. Okay. We're gonna start. I wanna know about, let's start from here. 33.8k health. 
not bad for tier 8. 25 mm plating, that's light cruiser. 4x2, 152. Really good shell velocity on these guns. 6 second reload, that's actually pretty nasty. Uh, AA. AA defends mid range, continuous damage, 672. Oh, what? They've literally nerfed all the AA in the game just so they can add this thing and sell it as an AA cruiser. This is why Cleveland was butchered. This is why Atlanta was butchered. Holy sh... 672, 90% hit probability. Holy mo... You add sector reinforcement to this? Jesus, that's a lot of DPS. That's a lot of DPS. Jesus. Dude, that's actually nuts, man. Mm, and it's 6.9 km flak. Dude, that's insane. Maximum speed 32. This is this is like this. I don't understand. Fire duration 60 seconds. Why did they? This is a light cruiser. 152 millimeter guns, 25 millimeter. It has everything that a light cruiser has. Why does it have 60 second fire duration? I thought they misspoke, but is it actually a thing? Is it actually a thing? It seems baffling. Really good turning circle, good rudder shift, surface detect 11.9. Uh, 11.9. What does that give us? 11.9 gives us 9.35, 9.35, 9.3, 9 concealment. Jesus, that thing is stealthy. Comes at you with engine boost and super heal. Or was it just normal heal? Maybe normal heal? Still for tier 8? That's gonna be nasty. And here we have the Congress, of course. The health pool is completely absurd. The plating and like this combo is nuts. Alaska guns, 19 km firing range. Um, it's based straight up Alaska guns across the board. 20 second reload. AA values. Doesn't seem that. 33 knots. It's Alaska hull as well. It just looks like... Is it even better handling than Alaska hull? With 850.13. 850.13. Let me check that. Uh, where's my Alaska? 850. No, I think it's, it's exactly the same. It's exactly the same hull. This, I think this, I'm running rudder shift on this build, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's exactly identical Alaska hull, except T right. Like, they, they removed Alaska because it was too strong and too popular. And now they're doing this. Like... <laughs> How is this not a blatant cash grab? Yikes. How is this not a blatant cash grab? And now we got the interesting thing. Dutch cruiser Golden Lev. Lev. Tier 10. Let's, let's have a look see at our Oh. Tier 10. This thing. Golden Lev. 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 Golden Lev. Golden Lev. It's just basically a battle cruiser. Luden Lev. Let's see. Um, 51.9k health. Rips out. Even more. 25mm plating on the nose, though. Interesting. 3x3, 283s. Firing range 16.5. HE, 3.9. Really good shell velocity. And it's heavy shells, so I assume ballistics are going to be pretty damn good. Uh, 180 degree, 25 seconds, what? Holy crap, those turrets turn fast. Super fast. A <laughs> 536 AA, 168, and 7 flank as well. This thing is better AA than the mine. This thing is better AA than the mine. Maximum speed, 33.5. 
Fire duration 60 because it's a battle cruiser. Re good turning circle though for a battle cruiser. Decent rudder shift. 3.13.1 concealment, which is actually really goddamn good. 10.3 km concealment on a battle cruiser. What the hell? And what? <laughs> what? What the fuck is that? Detectability after firing main guns in smoke 9.5. These are 283 millimeter battle cruiser guns. Venezia is crying in a corner with its 203 millimeter guns. Venezia is actually crying in a corner. Holy sh! What the? Damage control, hydro, defensive. Oh, it's got hydro and defensive separate, and repair party. 28 x 259. Wait, right, let's see. Whatever it is. 259. It's 311 times 28. It heals for 8.7k. And how many? Charges free. Obviously, the four. environment down here is all salt. salt. The, the ceiling is salt, the floor is Eight. salt, the walls are salt. And to an extent, the air is salt. This thing can heal for 35,000 health. It can heal for 35,000 health and it has, what, 52,000? So, yeah, so it's it's going to have almost 90k effective health. Jesus. Reload time 40 seconds as well. It's the fast, super fast reloading heal. So you're actually going to get to use them as well. <laughs> Jesus. What is Sharnhorst smoke firing penalty? Because these are literally Sharnhorst guns. These are basically Sharnhorst guns. These are Sharnhorst guns that they're slapping on it. 11.7. Okay. Interesting. Wow. Okay. So, good AA. They said that this was supposed to have really good armor. The concealment is good. Handling and speed looks good. Um, heal is looks very strong. And I mean, the caliber is certainly large for a cruiser. Huh, we'll see. Looks pretty strong. Biggest issue maybe is you don't get spotter plane and your range is only 16.5. All right. Check the AA on the T7 Dutch cruiser Lamau. I'll get to that. De Witt. 45.9k health, still more than Zao. <laughs> 3x3 240s, range 16. Yeah, well, really good turret verse again. Reload 17. Wow, these AA values. I swear, all these new lines have such good AA. They keep making, they keep like making carriers stronger and stronger and stronger. And then every new line they add has really strong AA compared to all the line ones. Like the, the AA power creep is insane. It's actually insane in World of Warships. Seven flak as well. This thing has better AA than the one as well. Um, maximum speed 32 knots for turning circle 740. Wow, that's a nice turning circle. Good runner ship 12.7 can So very stealthy this one as well. Very stealthy this one as well. 9.9.9.10. Yeah, ten, no, sorry, 10 kilometer concealment. Jesus, with this health? You can run. Oh, this one gets spotter plane. This one does get spotter plane. This gets everything. Damage control, hydro, defensive, fast reloading heal, and spotting aircraft. And 240mm guns, which can overmatch light cruisers. Holy moly. Jesus. Wow, okay. Dude. Smoke firing pe penalty 8.1 kilometers. How is it 8.1 with 240mm guns? Dude, that's nuts. Huh, okay. Tier 8 Dutch Cruiser Harlem. 3x3, 203mm guns, firing range 15.6. That's very limited. Uh, nice shell velocity. Really nice shell velocity. Holy moly. Reload 15. Super fast turrets again. AA not as monstrous, but still for tier 8. For tier 8, this is probably quite good. Speed 32.5. Again, long fire duration. Good rudder shift. Or good turning circle. Rudder shift is eh. Surface 12.5, very stealthy. Air detectability, very nice as well. Whoa, that smoke foreign for 203mm guns. 
Whoa, that's actually quite nice. Damage control, hydro, defensive, and repair. Dude, fast reloading heal on a ship at tier 8. Wow. They didn't they did note that they didn't post the heat the health. This one has hit points 32.6. This one has hit points 46 or 45.9, but they didn't post the health of the tier 8. I wonder what health this thing is gonna have. Because this thing gets hydro defensive and a fast reloading heal. And probably a shit ton of health as well. Whoa. Imagine Hipper running at it. Uh, okay, looks pretty nutty. Looks pretty nutty. Dutch cruiser Inracht, tier 7. 32.6, 16mm plating, seems standard, 2x2, 2x3. Uh, firing range 14.8, maximum HE shell. Reload time 7 seconds. 7 seconds is pretty nice for wait, how many guns? 10, 9, 9 guns? No, 10 guns, sorry. 7 second reload on 10 guns. Turning time 2 to 5. AA defense. AA mid range continues. <laughs> what the hell is that, man? Are you really gonna look at me with a straight face and say Wargaming doesn't create the problem only to sell you the solution? Holy shit, that AA power creep. That's insane. For tier 7? It doesn't say short range, it says mid range. I wonder what they class as mid range. Rip Atlanta, man. 33 knots. Oh, this one has 30 second fire duration. So this is the I think they're almost setting up a line split here at tier seven. I think they're already setting up a line split at tier seven, aren't they? Potential splitting into light cruisers and heavy cruisers. Can this become the super cruisers and then some another split here? 720, 9 second. Could det really good detect again. Damage hydro, if I just spot. No defensive AA this time. Tier 6, 32k. Alright! Tier 252 new t7aa bubble boys mm. even this is pretty like 427 at tier 6 interesting isn't that pretty high for tier 6 as well maximum speed 33 yeah this looks look pretty agile Poof. tier 5 okay there is quite as nuts Hit point 26.6. Yeah, these are the ones that people are going to play for such a short time. Oh, look at this. This thing has actually a tier 4 that actually has some AA. A tier 3 that even has some AA. Crazy. Wow. Well, for certain first impressions look... Well, we'll see how they play. We'll see how they play, but... Um, Johan de Witt, especially for tier 9, this thing looks really nutty. More than 49.5k health, armor, concealment, nuts, AA five consumables and plus the airstrikes plus 240 millimeter guns really good turret setup as well i i will say the early impressions are quite scary on this 60 second fires will be the great weakness but with that concealment that's only really gonna become a problem if you get stuck nose in in a really poor position but considering you want to play this around the islands and use the conceal and stuff, I think that shouldn't be too much of a of like a problem. Jesus, interesting, kind of terrifying. Oh, there's another dub leg, the next one right after. We can check that one as well. That's the what the German German event, Battle of the Beasts, a temporary event based on Germanic mythology. Once a week, you choose one of four teams. Welthund, Feuerputz, Glutsch, Glucks, Schwanz, or Lindworm. Worm. Lindworm? Lindworm. During the event, you need to complete personal missions, which are issued daily to everyone who participates in the event. Uh -oh. Are people going to pick the winning team? Usually when they do this, it always fails big time. Results of completing can be taken out. Rewards, themed hatches, beast tokens. So new containers. A new collection looks cool. Art department, art department doing a nice work as always. Uh, oh, this is the different teams, right? A German destroyers collection. Oh boy, the German destroyers sure look um, not that exciting, <laughs> to put it lightly. Oh, 
auction. I don't understand this. Adding a new way to obtain collectible items, the auction where various rare goods will become available. Um, people, you can't see. Like, this is crazy. Each auction only lasts limited time. The auction consists of the following stages. A lot is announced to be auctioned, with the starting price and number of winners becoming known. The opportunity to place bets open. Summing up the results, bets are no longer accepted. The winners of the auction receive their rewards, and the rest of the bidders get their bids back. So, the player only knows the starting price, their personal bid, and a total number of possible winners. So, this basically encourages people to wail like crazy. That's what it does. Because you don't know how much it's going to cost, you don't know what anyone else is bidding. So, if you want to be absolutely sure that you get an item, you want to absolutely dump a bunch of money into this. So, this is literally getting whales to spend to waste resource. They want whales to waste resource to get this. I hate that they made it so that you can't see the result. This is just this is just baiting people into spending a lot of extra resource. Dep this is just get rid of resource dump. Depending on a lot of different in-game resources can be used for bets. Oh yeah, I bet. Can't wait to see doubloon bets and the coal bets and all of this. You know it's gonna come. You know it's gonna come. Yep. Mm. The auction item was a commemorative flag with a total of 500 copies at the end of the auction. Each of the five players who bid the highest would receive one copy of the flag. And if you're a collector and you really want that, well, you better spend pl plenty of money to make sure you get it. It's not just credits. No, no. No, no. If it was only credits, that would be one thing. But depending on the lot, different in-game resources can be used. I, I this really bought it. This really worries me. Um, achievement interface update, updated appearance. That's nice and all. Art department doing work. Clan battles. Uh, Thirteenth season clan battles will take place seven versus seven tier ten ships. Limits of the number of ship one aircraft carrier. No more than two battleships. If the team is an aircraft carrier, the number of battleships is reduced to one. They tried this once. You know how many people who actually are good at the game chose to cho chose to field two battleships. The number is not high, I can tell you that. Everyone is just gonna play CVBB. Because, obviously. Because, obviously. Enjoy. Enjoy. Have a great time, my dudes. Ranked, Season 3 of Ranked Battles. Oh, 6 to 7? 8 to 10? Well, I'm gonna stay in Silver League. What the hell? I'm literally, I'm never gonna go to Gold. I'm just gonna hang out in Silver. Dude. Get to Club Tier 8 in my Tier 10 permanently? Literally Golden. That's the best league. That's the league I'm hanging in. And of course, tier 10 finally, because everyone loves tier 10. Wait. Uh, a 12 versus 12 brawl will be hit on tier 10 ships. Of course, more tier 10. Ice Serpent camo for Shikishima. Permanent camos for Edging Court. This Weimar camo looks sick. This one, this Koenig Albert camo looks good, although I'm not sure. Sold on a smokestack. Battle of Utland camo. You. Yeah, new collections, new collections. Damn. Whew. You should read the interface inter uh, interface thing. You read, missed something. Wait, what is this? What do you mean? Updated appearance of the achievement screen, added categories and updated sorting, up disabled rewards for obtaining achievements. Now rewards can be obtained by completing special chains of combat missions for the complete of, of, each of which you need to receive achievements in battle. What? Disabled rewards for obtaining achievements. Now rewards can be obtained by completing special chains of combat missions for the completion of which you need to receive achievements in battle. What? So you have to, they want you to spend more money on, so you're not going to get flags for detonating. That's terrible. So this is spend more money on flags, basically. That's that's they're they're adding another resource sink. That's what they're doing. They're adding another resource sink. And this is one of those on the big list of things no one in the community ever asked for, but Wargaming decided you need to have it. Enjoy. 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 There are still rewards, yes, uh, but you get them by completing special chains of combat missions. Which basically means whatever they want it to mean. 
Oh boy. Well, that was, boys, that was my stream for today. I've been live for a long ass time and I need to call it. My voice is getting pretty wrecked. Thank you guys for tuning in today. Thank you for watching. We reached the Vikings goal as well, which is absolutely badass and fantastic. I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a great rest.